Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I want to mention, well, even though through all the adversity, all the trials and tribulations, and even going through my own tribulation with uh, these internet trolls and well you know or the harassers and you know you know I, I've mentioned many times what they what they've been doing of course it, it's never ending it's Satan is an accuser, brother, of the, uh, you know, brethren, Bre you know, brethren, not brethren, but brethren, which, you know, means, it's poor, plural word for, you know, many brothers and sisters in Christ. And like I said, through it all, God is still working. God is still in control. We had a solar eclipse on uh, Monday. And now a tropical storm turning into a hurricane. God is still in control. He is trying to get our attention but the problem is, way too many t people they just want their ears tickled. They don't want to hear about all the bad things that God is going to do. They don't even really want to hear that they're going to be thrown into the lake of fire which is the final death. They don't want to hear any of that. They just want to be, they want to be allowed to continue sinning and God liking it. But my police game is going off. There's, there's a lot of things going on here this evening. A lot of different uh, accidents and fires. And I mean, yesterday evening there was a, a building that exploded, caught on fire in... Uh, Downtown uh, Malvern. But like I was, I'm going to say here real quick. Through it all, God is still in control. Went, took uh, Renee to. Um, see the surgeon that she's been seeing occasionally talk to him more about what's going on with her um, severe um, heartburn from her GERD and you know having now you know the, the feeling of food wanting to come back up and and Feeling like she, you know, has to, you know, where nothing wants to stay down. I don't want to say it, you know, because I don't want to make you sick. But long story short, he's going to do a couple tests on Renee to see how severe her, her GERD is. One of the tests will be done through an upper GI 
and they'll implant a uh, a sensor in her esophagus and then she'll have to wear a monitor device to monitor what that sensor you know is sensing didn't know they could do anything like that but and I know they have that pill cam like a little camera and a pill that you can swallow and it goes through your intestines and to check things out maybe this is on the same kind of concept I don't know and another test is where they would you know what I had basically swallow barium and they watch it go down so she got all that scheduled here you know here's the paperwork to prove that uh, she's getting that done and then yesterday I was getting ready to head up to uh, the drugstore because Friday evening I would run out of my Neurotin and I had no more Neurotin and they were telling me well you still should have enough for several more days I'm like I don't and I've been taking one Neurotin at, at bedtime I don't like taking it during the day because it makes you drowsy and sleepy I, so my doctor reduced it down to one at bedtime and they gave me 90 days supply but for some unknown reason they short me it happens I mean are you going to set and count every single pill that's in the bottles to make sure that the drugstore didn't short you so the, the druggist she knows, she knows me and she said, go ahead and give me enough to last until when my insurance will pay for it. God, that's the only thing I know. I was short. They short me somehow. They miscounted. So they didn't argue with me. They went and gave me some more to hold me over. But while I was getting ready to head up to the drugstore, there was this green pickup truck with a couple in it that pulled up in front of my home here in Carrollton, Ohio. And this couple come, you know, comes up onto the porch, and I'm going out onto the porch because I'm getting ready to leave. Anyhow, and we talked. Come find out, <laughs> and they'll probably see this video. Yeah, they're friends of mine on YouTube. They watch me. They're originally from the area, moved to um, Arizona. He's a former police officer. We talked a little bit before, you know, they had to leave and. Took a picture with me and they just want to let me know that there are people out there that do like what I have to say. Even though a lot of us don't meet. But, you know, it's encouraging to know that people do care enough to, you know, encourage me. Instead, try to tear me down and try to tell me to stop preaching. All because they have hate in their heart and they're doing the will of their father, Satan the devil. They will see when the time comes. They will know the truth. I don't want to take up too much time because it is after midnight and 
I had to get up do something, so I wanted to make a quick video here, letting you know. That God is still in control. God loves us. He does not really want us to be lost. He wants us to be... He wants us to be saved through His Son, Jesus Christ, because that's the only way. But Satan and his demons are also in control of what goes on on this earth. His demons do hijack people and, and, and control what they do and what they say. Some are possessed. Some are just uh, controlled, like like a like a marionette. And those people, I believe, lots. I mean, they're, they're, they don't have a conscience. God had seared their conscience, so they don't have a conscience. That's why a lot of these people do what they do, because they do not have a conscience. And one, I, I, I read somewhere, that one of these things, one of these signs, that we, uh, you know, supposed to know that somebody is truly born again, believer, Christian, whatever you want to call us, that we're supposed to be able to cast out demons. There's not really a lot of people doing that. A lot of people say, well, we're not supposed to entertain Satan. Casting out demons is not entertaining Satan. So demons have to flee. They have to flee. But in God's Word, it also says that when they do flee and they go around, they can't find something to go into, then they go right back to the same person that they came out of. So you gotta be careful when you're casting out demons. Because demons have to be in something. To be, to, you know, I don't know. Function, I guess, and live. It's like they, 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 they have to be in something. They can't just be floating around in nothingness. Of course, what are demons? Demons are fallen angels. Just like Satan. Satan is also a fallen angel. They are in a different dimension that we cannot see, but they are still all around us. There are even God's angels around us as well. Every believer has two angels with them. So, I, you know, I know my angels have protected me many times.
And yeah, I've done some crazy, stupid things in my life. But, you know what? I'm forgiven. And God doesn't... <clears throat> God doesn't care about all that. He forgot all that. It's, it's... Cast into... The sea of forgetfulness. But Satan doesn't forget. Satan is always the one wanting to bring up someone's past. And that's what a lot of these internet trolls are always trying to do. Bring up my past and try to say, you know, a lot of hurtful things. But you know what? If you really, truly want to try to get me in trouble, don't say it. Don't just say it. Call the authorities. Call you know, do whatever you say you want to do to me. But see, that's the thing. You're just all talk and no action. Just like Satan, he's all talk and no action. I mean, he did he did things to uh, some people, but. If God does not permit it, it doesn't happen. And God will not permit anything, any harm to come to me or Renee, other than what we are going through right now because of the evilness of this world. Thank you for stopping by and and uh, visiting me for a little bit, encouraging me. I need to go for now. God bless you. Have a blessed day.